Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and today I'm so excited because we actually are starting to get our Thanksgiving videos up. I have a gluten-free stuffing recipe for you guys. We're actually gonna be doing it two different ways. We're gonna be doing it my way and my husband's way, which my way is just normal and my husband's is actually gonna be going in the turkey and it is the gizzard. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how I do my gluten-free stuffing. Now this recipe has our gluten-free bread in it. If you guys have missed that video, I will link it either above or down below. There will be a playlist down below of all my gluten-free recipes, so don't worry. Everything will be down below, all the rest of the Thanksgiving and any other holiday that you guys might be looking at. Um, Christmas, everything, everything will be down below. So if you guys would like to see how I do my gluten-free stuffing two ways, then go ahead and keep on watching. So first things first for stuffing, we need bread. And this is the bread that we make. If you guys are new to my channel, I make a gluten-free bread. I have the video up. I will link it for you guys down below if you wanna follow along. It's super easy, but if not, you are more than welcome to buy just an already made brand, or you can even do just bread, gluten-free bread that you find at the store. I have a whole bunch of favorite breads. I have um, a video where it's a whole bunch of gluten-free sandwiches, and you guys can use any of those breads. I will link that video down below also to give you an idea of which breads to use. But yeah, pretty much what I do is I leave the loaves out overnight because I want them to get a little more stale and firm. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to bake it and we're going to bake it at a low temperature. But I mostly just leave it out just to kind of make it a little firm. We want it to, it, it just makes it easier to just kind of cut and things like that. But we're going to do 325 and we're going to do them for about 20 minutes. We're just going to kind of put it on a baking sheet and kind of spread it around. I'm not seasoning it or anything right now. You can if you want to. Um, I added rosemary, thyme, parsley, and I want to say those were it. So you can season those right now if you want to, but I just do it in the bowl after. But it's completely up to you. And like I said, you guys can use whatever you want. You can. I've even done what I'm about to do right now in this whole video with already made um, stuffing. I've just added my own little flair to it. So it's completely up to you on how you want it to be. You can cut them smaller than this. You can cut them bigger than this. It's completely up to you. To you. Um, I've never done a cracker one. I might have to try that, but I know that some people use crackers for stuffing. I don't, I use bread, but like I said, that's up to you. The only thing when we're making gluten-free stuffing Moisture is our friend. We really need like chicken broth and you know turkey broth and drippings and stuff. We definitely need that because gluten-free bread is a lot drier than normal bread. So because of that, it's really hard to get the bread to absorb. So with stuffing, we want it to be, you know, we don't want it to be croutons, which if you guys wanted to do croutons, this is perfect. This is great. I've done this for croutons and it's great. Like I don't even miss it. It tastes exactly like it. But if you do, there we go right here, we're seasoning it. Um, yes, if you do want a more softer stuffing, you definitely need to add a lot more chicken broth or like I said, turkey drippings than what you would and normal stuffing. But once we give it a good stir with all the seasonings, then we're going to cut a few stalks of celery and then one full onion. And then I'm going to do two cloves of garlic. Now for, you know, my husband's one, we're also going to be doing this whole part all over again. But the secret to a good stuffing is you gotta get the heart, the celery heart. I'm telling you, I add it to anything that has celery, even if it's something that doesn't have celery, no matter what the dish is, celery heart. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that baby has some flavor, that thing right there, right there, flavor town. I put two little pieces away from my husband's gizzards and then we're gonna do uh, mine. The only reason why I'm putting more in mine is because most of the time we eat mostly mine anyways, but yeah, cause I'll make like leftover sandwiches and stuff, which I do have one of those videos coming, leftovers, Thanksgiving leftovers. But yeah, usually I have leftovers and he'll just be like, ah, just use your stuffing. So no matter what, we're gonna do more in mine. So, oh well. Gluten-free cooking spray. Please pay attention. I made that mistake not too long ago, and now I found a gluten-free one. Please get that. It's at Walmart if you can't find any. 
Then we're going to put the celery, the garlic, the um, heart, I don't know why I couldn't think of the name, and the garlic, and we're going to do a half a tablespoon or nope, a half of a stick of butter. Yes, we want the fatness to it. We're gonna do salt and pepper. And like I said, we want some flavor. I wanna say I added thyme and rosemary to this as well. Maybe a little bit of parsley. But we're gonna season that up. We're gonna make sure they're all fragrant and translucent. Like I said, we are not holding back on the flavor. The fatness, it is Thanksgiving. We can have what we want, especially when we're trying to make up for no gluten. We can spare some butter. But then we're going to add uh, half of that bowl that we had earlier into a, wow, I cannot get the camera focus for some reason. But yeah, we're going to add half of the, all of the leftover bread into a baking sheet and then we're going to add the over top the mixture then we're going to add some craisins not raisins craisins and then we're going to season it a little bit more and then we're going to add the chicken stock and like i said add enough chicken stock you'll see me going back and forth back and forth to make sure it's all wet if it looks wet now you need to do it again because i promise you it gets dry and then we're going to preheat the oven for 350 and bake it until you see it start to crisp up and as you can see I'm trying to show you this shot and I keep dipping in and eating because it was so freaking good it was so good I loved this now for the gizzards I'm gonna throw the gizzards in and then we're just gonna do some water with some salt and we're gonna bring it to a boil and let them cook and as I said we're gonna repeat this whole entire process my husband eats the exact same thing it just has some gizzards in it but the only difference is that my husband does add a red apple to his. For some reason, he loves the flavor of it. I've never had it. I kind of get grossed out for the gizzards for some reason. And I'm not like an ewy type of person either. I kind of actually like a lot of things. But for some reason, I don't know. The little gizzards and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've tried it one time and it had this weird flavor. Maybe it was just where I had it. And I just wasn't a fan. I know. I know. I know. I have an issue. But for some reason, like, I just can't get over the flavor of it. It's not the gizzards that gross me out. It's the flavor of it. I don't know if it's maybe because we boil it or if there's another way. You know what? If you guys have a way of cooking a gizzard stuffing that will take away this kind of weird flavor, I don't know how to explain it. I might have to try it this time and then t test it out and let you guys know what exactly the flavor is. But, yeah. Let me know if you guys have any better options than what I'm doing. But basically, it's all the same steps. We're just going to repeat. Um, it's going to be, you know, we're going to do the mixture. We're going to do apples this time. We're also going to do the craisins. We're going to do the same seasonings. We're going to do a little, little gizzies. And then we're going to mix, mix, mix with some chicken stock or drippings completely up to you. Most of the time, we use turkey drippings. But since at this point, I did not have a turkey while I was filming this uh, we didn't have any and like I said my husband's usually goes in the bird so it also gets that moisture and that flavor but right now it's just getting baked so it was still good from what my husband said I mean, he might be lying to me but <laughs> that is it right there and I hope you guys enjoy the stuffing and give it a try because Thanksgiving is coming and that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. But if not, that's fine. You're welcome back anytime. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all the other gluten-free recipes for Thanksgiving that I have coming up very, very soon. I'm so excited for them. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.